It's not often that hundreds queue up to watch politicians cut a ribbon, but today the people of Sutherland were more than happy to do just that. Locals campaigned for this new link from Menai to Sutherland for years, and $47 million later, they finally have their reward. Spanning more than half a kilometre over the Warrenora River, the bridge will carry 17,000 vehicles a day and has a separate deck for pedestrians and cyclists. We listened to the people and the people made sense. They said you need this bridge, but it's got to be four lanes. And here it is today. The car government originally cancelled construction in 1995. Two years later, Menai's firestorm forced an about face. Emergency services warning the old bridge and its hairpin turns would hinder firefighting efforts. Now the government says more road works are planned for the area, including the Bengal Bypass. Now those projects are all going to start next year and will be well underway. Belinda Cole, National 9 News. A cowboy has... Wasn't a project that came quickly or cheaply, the half kilometre span costing nearly $50 million. It's been a long time coming, a key local election issue five years ago. But despite the wait, the Premier wasn't trying to duck the issue. If it had been built when originally planned, it would have been a two-lane bridge, and today it would have been out of date already. At a cost of $47 million, the new four-lane Warrenora Bridge spans some 526 metres and is state-of-the-art. Its construction, a marvel of modern building design and technique, suspended some 36 metres above the water. Thousands turned out for a close look at the engineer's handiwork. It was a no-car zone for the 500-metre journey across the bridge. When it opens to traffic tomorrow, more than 17,000 vehicles were expected to make the trip. According to the government, the new bridge is just the beginning of a number of road projects within the Sutherland Shire. They haven't had the resources that they should. I mean, the area has really grown and governments have not kept pace with the developments that should have been provided to them. Now on the drawing board for the region, a massive upgrade of the five ways and Arcasia Street. Mission accomplished, it's a great bridge and the Bangor Bypass follows it. That comes next. Our plans are well advanced. Kevin Barishon, 7 News. Warrenora in Sydney South eliminating one of the city's traffic black spots. The bridge was built using groundbreaking technology to extend the traffic deck across the Warrenora River by pushing prefabricated sections into place from the riverbank. Thousands of locals strolled, skated and scooted across the span this morning after a ribbon-cutting ceremony. The bridge has been subject to delays and debates over the size and impact. The fact that it's late has got an unexpected bonus, and that is that it's four lanes. If it had been built when originally planned, it would have been a two-lane bridge, and today it would have been out of date already. The old two-lane bridge was a notorious traffic bottleneck.